You might void your warranty if you mess the controller module. It could also cause irreparable damage to the module or to the cart. Make sure you check your local laws before you make any modifications. Don't cut the red wire. So you want to get the most out of your Bentelli cart or your club car, Easy Go, Icon, Evolution, it doesn't matter what kind of cart you have, they all have a controller module. You want to change the brake regen or the acceleration deceleration feel when you're pressing or releasing the, the go pedal, or maybe you just want to geek out on all that diagnostic data. Diagnostics? Online! Let's be honest, you want to go faster, more speed! <laughs> Using a laptop, the correct software, and the right data cable, you can do all these things and maybe a few more. But first, you need to know what controller module you have. Let's find out where it is and how to figure out which one you got. Now to figure out which kind you have, on the Bentelli cart here, I need to open up this area, pull out this little tub, and I see a panel right back here with two little push pin rivet things. Let's go ahead and remove those. Once those are removed, you can easily lift up on this panel and pull it out. At this point, you can either continue to reach in from the top or lift the seat back here and access it under the cart this way. Okay, and now that you have access to the back bottom thing here, there are five screws. I'm gonna try and point them out to you. There's two on the bottom, one right, right there, and one over here, and the other three are here, here, and here. Those are eight millimeter, or you can use a Phillips head screwdriver. Let's go ahead and get those removed. And now that I have this removed, you'll see that this controller type right here is the Curtis style. I'll try and put some pictures up on the screen right about now so you can see what the other ones are. And you can see all kinds of other nifty things in here. Relay, master fuse, all sorts of interesting things. Now the data cable and software, these can be purchased online. I'll put a link to this one that I have for my Curtis controller in the description below. They're not cheap, but fun cost money and usually. Uh, there's also a Facebook group. I'll put its description below where you can get these cables made. The software you may have to look for. There's other forums that you can look for online. Well, let's go ahead and plug this in. Uh, white connector here just plugs in under the dash. And the USB plugs into your computer. That little doo 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 lets you know that it's plugged into the computer. And as soon as you turn the ignition to the on position, then you may be able to see in my computer, I've got the uh, communication and just click F2 to connect. Pops up pretty quickly. And here you can see the system information parameters. This is where you'd go in to make any throttle changes or put it in torque mode or current limits, throttle, braking, all kinds of interesting stuff down in here. Uh, I'm not going to get into what settings I've got mine on. Uh, make sure you go to the forums, do your own research, and uh, make educated, good decisions. Don't just go fiddling around in here. You can really mess things up. And as I said before, you, you can do a lot of damage to both the controller, the cart, yourself. Uh, lots of bad things can happen if you're just fiddling around in here. Make sure you know what you're doing before you make modifications. And definitely record everything that you're doing so you know what the settings were originally and what you're modifying them to. Uh, a good rule of thumb is small changes make a big difference. And here in the diagnostics page, uh, you can actually see what kind of diagnostic things there are, and you can go through and look at different vehicle inputs. Uh, if you have like a lithium battery, you can uh, pull up all of its data here. And I've actually drove the cart around with the laptop hooked up just so that I can see in real time what my changes are doing. Uh, of course, stop the cart, make your change, let the, uh, let the little lights here blink and do their thing and then 
go ahead and test out your small change here and there. A little bit does a lot, so a little bit of changes here and there.